So the approval group is working in Anna here. And then what I did is I ran the uh, these two concurrents actually. I'm going to go there and show it to you. <clears throat> so I will now sign in now. When I logged out and logged in, and then I signed in now. And then I ran these two concurrents actually. <clears throat> to go there, click on it. I'm going to go to the monitor process. Uh, there I run the <clears throat> retrieve LDAP changes as well as import user and role. Fine, they got succeeded. So now we'll now make a new uh, one and then I will now show it to you. Fine, click on it. Uh, sometimes what happens, it, it uh, behaves in erratic fashion actually and go to this place. So three and four are the two approvers actually. And click on it. We will now go and then create our item. And click on create item. So we are going to create an item actually. So go there is a D01. I will now choose my PDH master and then choose my item class and then click on it and then click on okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let me go on the whatever is the one. So, go down and then here in the specifications, I don't choose 16 GB RAM and I now make it as a 21 inch monitor. And then click on save. Now, your, your concatenation as well as the assignment will fire actually. And then the description will be concatenated. So, the list price has been changed to 25. It is now concatenated. And we will now submit this for approval. <coughs> so, D01, 1090 is the one which is going to be submitted for approval. So, click on submit. So once when you submit it, what happens? The new item request will be coming. Click on new request. I click on next. They're going over there. I click on next. And then here I will now say uh, D01 find approval group. I will now say some number. Four and number we know by. So take out it. Right? Click on this. So reason is planned. Okay, fine. Whatever maybe the reason, you can just give it. Okay. Uh, the assign to will not work at all. You know because we have now bypassed it already. So click on save and edit actually. Click on save and edit. So the NIR number will be getting formed now. <clears throat> so NIR is 150 actually. Priority, reason is planned, and assigned to some so If there is a long get work, requested to so and so, description need be date is not required. Number. Item class, item description, effect rate, everything is okay. I know that. Yeah. So it's all there. So we'll now submit it. <clears throat> so there is no attachment. So if you go to the action log, go to the action log. So here it's not just created only. So click on submit, maybe it's whatever the NIR 150 for item number. Uh, if you go there, item number is what? 1090. <clears throat> item number is 1090. So for the 1090 item number, NIR 150 is now going to be submitted. So click on submit. And then we will now wait for some time. Right? It takes some time actually. You know that. So if you go there and then monitor it, if you go to the manner item, of course, NIR 150, I'm going to monitor it. NIR 150. And then I'll make it as what null. And then this also is now remove it. And then make a search. Now fine, click on search. It'll be showing us this now. Fine, click on it. So 1090 is an item. Fine, click on it. And see what, what exactly the state is. So if you go to the details of it, now I click on the details. <clears throat> It'll not show you what I was open. And then allow updates. Everything is on actually. So now what happens? The definition is now bypassed. And then it has to go to the approval actually. So click on the action law. So go to the action log and then have a look at it. Go to the action log. So it is now submitted. Promoted to approval. Approval requested actually. Approval is not recorded. It's expanded. So it is now approval requested actually. So let us now log in as a third employee. If I go that point. Now log in as a third employee. So we'll not take a copy of it. So third employee, I'm going to have one. So go there. So we're going to paste it and then log in with third employee. <laughs> so this one I will now make it as a third now. And then we now log in as a third employee. Three and four has to get a notification actually for the NIR 150 actually. So for the NIR 150, what happens is that they have to get a notification actually. If I click on the bell icon. You can now see what happens. Action required new item request 150 requires approval actually. Fine. It is not a FIA, remember. 150 it is not a FIA. So it is a real one. <clears throat> Fine. So I will now go via this also. I will actually via this and then go to the tools and then go to the approvals. So here you can now see the 150 has now come to him for approval action. Three, it has come to approval. So click on it. So if you click on this requires approval, fine, click on it. And then click on the view more details. Fine, click on the view more details. It will not show you. So he'll be having a claim icon actually. The third can very well claim. Actually. The right hand side top, you can now see the claim actually. So go down now, can now see that what happens. EMP3 and EMP4, it is now done parallelly. <clears throat> New item request has now gone parallelly. 
when assigning when change order or new item request header priority is high actually. So here what happens uh, uh, there is no way it is written as what the first responder wins actually new request item header role based single approver actually. So the way so if one of them approves it will get approved actually. But once when somebody claims it, what happens if the employee name will go away on the one. When you item request is there, and go there. So is what three and four is there. And go there. So let four takes it up and go there. Then three will go away in this area. Now I am not claiming where the third now. I am not claiming where the third go there. So go there. So I will now what happens? If, close it and go there. Click on it. I will again go there. <clears throat> so but not paste it now. Paste now. I will now log in as what? The fourth employee actually. So for that, I will now log in with the fourth employee. So fourth employee I'm logging in. So he will also get a notification. That is it. The four is going to claim now. If, we, if the four claims it, what happens? The three will go away also. I will now go to the tools and then I go to the approvals. So he will also get the same notification of 150 actually because it's not in parallel actually. So when AR150 has come to the point for four also, I click on it. And then click on the view details. If you click on the view details, it will not show you more. So there's a single approver actually, single approver. So three and four are cut. So the moment the four claims it, the three will go away also. You can go to the top and click on the claim. So once when you claim it, what happens? The three will go away. When you click on claim, the claim is not done. He has not claimed it actually for approval. Actually. So once when he claims it, what happens? If you click on the view more details, you will now see three will no more be there actually. So here, what happens? The three is not there. Only it is now only with four actually. So if you log in as three, what happens? They should not. The, the one fifty would have gone away now. And it has to be go away now. Or it must be only a for for your information approval. So if you go to the actions now, and go there, uh, nothing is there actually. We can even either approve or reject actually. <clears throat> Fine, God is coming. <clears throat> so we'll now go back here. Go back on level. We'll now log out of it and then log in as three now. Now click on click on sign out now. Find sign out. And then click on confirm. So I will now wait for some few minutes and then afterwards I will now log in now. I will now wait for some time. So I waited for five minutes actually and then I will now go to the three now. So click on sign. <clears throat> so we are now logging as three after five minutes actually. Click on it. So click on the left hand side. So three would have lost. I click on the tools and then go to the upper <laughs> So now, you see, it requires approval is still there, actually. So in, in NIR 150 requires approval is there. Click on it. <laughs> and click on the view more details. Now, you won't have the claim button at all because already 4 has claimed it. And so you won't find any claim button at the top at all. And then you can now see actions is nothing, actually. There is no action available here. So no action is available. And go there, go down. And then you can now see it is with 4, actually. It is the MP4. So 3 can do nothing, actually. So you have to wait for some time. And then do something. Okay? The action is grayed out. Okay? The action is grayed out. So you are unable to do. Fine. So nothing can be done actually. So even though the NIR 150 is coming here, but what happens? The three has lost the power actually. Now it was initially three and four, and then since four has claimed it, three is not having any any activity at all. So that is why he is not having any action here. So let us now go there and then go to the fourth. Fine. Go there. Now log out and then fourth the fourth. So sign out and then log in as four. Now. So you have to wait for some time. Fine. Everything. To take place what happens it will not take some time actually so click on sign in now <clears throat> and then here you go there so he has got the power to approve actually if i go to the tools and then go to the approvals so their action was grayed out here what happens you'll be having everything actually you click on the end 115 you know click on the view mode it is fine you will now have the power to approve actually in three what happens the action is grayed out actually so here we have approve and reject and then actions are also available. And then the workflow is also showing that it is only with four action. Go up and then here click on approve. We are going to approve. Fine. It is a single approver. So it's a single approver. Fine. Based on single approval. So new item request header rule based on single approver actually. So as what is fine. So click on approve. So whomsoever is claiming will be able to approve. We are now approving it. So once it is approved, now it will now start to progress on the workflow actually. Fine. I know that. So the Action, it is the FYA information is only available. The action required is now already gone because the action has already been taken. Actually, so if you go there and go to this place, and go to the and then here now go there, click on cancel, and then re query 150. So approval requested, and then it will now be progressing on this. Now, click on cancel, 
and then go there. I will not go on that. Make a search again. Now, if I click on search, it's coming. Oh, my God. I will not go on that. Click on the NAR 150. <clears throat> the NAR 150. You go to the action lock. So you can now see it has now progressed beyond. When the intent is approved, it is promoted to schedule. And then now it is on the schedule. And then automatically, what happens? It will be getting what happens very soon. It will be. Uh, the item will also be approved actually. And right click and then duplicate and then have a look at the item 1090 is the one. <laughs> now go there, click on it. You know how to go to the product information management and then there, you can go there, right click on it. So you have to wait, wait, wait for a longer time. Then only what happens, it happens actually. You go to the browser items. So D01, 1090 is the one. <clears throat> the D01, so 1090 is the one. And click on search, click on search. You know, searching for it. So once when you search for it, you want to find, click on it, and then you can now see the action would have been scheduled and then completed, and then there's no so. If you click on the NAR 150, then go there. If you click on it, what happens? It will not show you this how it has got approved. Then go to the action log. Status is completed, and then upload. Then go to the action log, and then see this. One thing is what you have to wait for some time for everything to happen. Actually, it takes place after some time. Actually, I ran the LDAP as well as the import user role. I logged out and logged in, and then I did it. What happens? I am it is a success. For me. So both the persons are given information parallelly. Whomsoever claims first, he will only be able to approve. The other person cannot approve. So, so just watch it now. Bye for now. And I will not meet again.